I can use piracy as a as an example here. Acts up. Uh, yes, uh, which everybody has heard of this website, the piratebay.org. Right. Okay, that is a big, huge piracy website. Okay. Um, yes, they caught the owners and fined them, and I think we're possibly doing some jail time. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but at the same time, you know, if they want to stop piracy, it's not going to happen because I want to tell you why. There's over two, two million, or maybe possibly more, uh, you know, uploaders or uh, registered people on that website. If they was to go and prosecute one person, that person could come back and say, okay, you caught me, you're finding me, you're trying to put me in jail. What about the other to or you know a uh, hundred million people out there or whatnot you right. know are you going to prosecute them too right and pretty much you know they couldn't they could not do that so pretty much yes they caught the owners and everything but they cannot you know get the users for it because there's just too many of them right and because then the government would just have to base their whole entire, like, forget about street crime, forget about all this, and just focus on internet piracy, and that's right. not going to happen. Right, and that goes back to us talking about how just the internet has expanded so so quickly that the the law is really struggling to catch up. Like, look, look, look at cyberbullying. There are so many cases of cyberbullying, and, you know, a lot of times law, the, you know, the legal system, they're kind of just scratching their heads thinking, okay, well, what do we do here? Because, like, you know, you can get on the internet, and there have been people who have been, you know, unfortunately driven to suicide by things on the internet. But, you know, I mean, we have laws that say that you can't, you know, go up and put a gun to someone's head, pull the trigger. You can't take someone's life, but, you know, and you can't harass someone until they do so in real life. But on the internet, you know, we have all these gray areas. So going back to the bill, that is what we're experiencing here. We're experiencing the initial problem with this bill was that a lot of people realized that there were a lot of gray areas, and anyone who knows anything about law knows that, and Fez, I know you'll agree that when a law is written out, it has to be very specific. It has to be, it has to lay out principles, one right after the other, and it has to dictate what the bill stands for and what it does not stand for. And, you know, we talked about this before, The uh, and we're going to go ahead and say this, the uh, the Senate, the three, the three congressmen, or two congressmen and one congresswoman, rather, as we understand it, who introduced this bill, two of them had been informed of the outcry from YouTube and from the internet about this bill limiting um, gaming, and two of them had already said that the bill was not intended for those purposes. Now, that does not mean that we can just sit and relax and be like, oh, you know, it's going to be okay. Of course, that doesn't mean we have to go form a mob either. It just means that we need to stay informed, keep researching, and in a very, you know, collected and relaxed way, we need to tell you know them what we think about this and make sure that our rights are not taken away. Because you know, Fizz, you were just talking about earlier how you know, if we just you know let one of our rights be swept under the rug, they can do it to you know the next right after that and the one after that. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a snowball effect if you think about it. You know, when you take one law away, you know it just or one freedom away rather, it just gets easier as time goes on. Right, exactly, and just like I said, you just. You know, you just can't lay low about this. I mean, uh, no, we're not asking you to go out and become a politician either, but, you know, we just, you know, it doesn't hurt to stay informed. Right, exactly. You know, about your country and what the country is doing, what your lawmakers and all that are up to. Right. So that's what we're trying to bring to the table here is just to express, you know, that, hey, this is important, especially for us gamers. Right. You know, if this was to be able to pass and everything. Yes, they're saying that it's not going to affect YouTube or anything like that, but it could lead up to that. It could lead up to a bunch of things, like, you know, uh, this being one of them. Then it could lead up to them monitoring the Internet, everything that you do. Somebody's going to be in a nice, fancy office up in D.C. and just watching everything that you do. Right, and, so. and uh, um, another thing I want to mention, there was a bill that was waiting to be introduced into um into Congress and I don't know where this bill stands I did not research this because it just came back to my mind but this bill was actually suggesting that um I don't know how many of you out there are students but I take online courses and you know 
when it comes time for tests, you're not supposed to use any textbooks or any notes or any other materials like that. Since it's an online course and you're in your home, usually the professor would have to take you at your word. However, there was, um, they were either considering introducing this or they were trying to introduce it, a bill which would actually force you to keep your web camera on and let yourself be recorded while you took this test so you could be observed that you were not, you know, using any materials that they didn't allow you to use. Now, in theory, you may say, well, that makes it fair, but at the same time, again, gray areas. Is that a violation of privacy? You know, is, you know, is, is that, you know, could that be considered, you know, a violation of, you know, the basic rights that were allowed? So that, that goes back to the point of, you know, you just can't allow these things to pass and just say, don't worry about them because they can spiral out of control. So we're going to talk a minute about, um, how, again, we're not for piracy. So I've heard, I've heard like a lot of, um, I've heard the argument for piracy that piracy is okay is this argument. Like I heard um, uh, one person I know who's really a huge advocate of software piracy. He's uh, He said that, you know, if you go into a store and you take a DVD off of a shelf, you take a movie out of the store off the shelf, you now have that movie and it's not on the shelf anymore. So the manufacturer in the store, they cannot make money off that. And he said that that's wrong. He said, but the difference is, he said, when you when you take a movie off the internet and you download it, you have it, but it's still there, so people can still enjoy it. And my logic is this: if you think that works, then uh, try doing it in real life. Like, go to an amusement park and try to jump on a roller coaster. And when one of the attendants says, you know, you can't just ride this for free; it costs something. Be like, oh well, you know, I'm not taking it; I'm just enjoying it. But it, it's still here, so you know, people can uh, people can still ride it. So you know, obviously, obviously that would not work. So you know, Fizz, just just talk a bit more about how. You know, we're, we're not on here advocating piracy, and we're not those guys who say you can't stop the Internet. We're not those guys at all. Right, uh, exactly, and that's the point that we're trying to stress here. The reason why we keep on saying that is because we're not. By all means, the money that these people fork in to make games, software, all this, they should be able to get paid back for their great work. Right. Like, you know, especially gaming, you know, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, you know, all them great brands, you know, the millions of dollars that they take in or to put in to make games that we love and enjoy on an everyday basis, they should get paid back for it. So, again, we are not promoting piracy. Definitely not. All right. Now, um, it, it comes down to um, the main thing here is what we're talking about is streaming games. Should that be considered illegal? Now, again, the, the, the two or the three Congress Congress people had said that they were not targeting game streaming, but it could be very easy for them to reintroduce things because Congress and you know they have been known the government they have been known to do that sort of thing. They can switch on things so quickly. We've seen that in the past. So one of the things that you know the comparison that I used when I was talking about this in the past was you know when when we're playing games and posting gameplay of them on YouTube, we're not giving out free copies of the games. We're just taking a game that we purchased posting it on YouTube. Now, you could say that if it's illegal to do that, then is it illegal for me to, um, let's say if I take, uh, if I purchase some music and I put it on my iPod and listen to it in my car, you know, can I not listen to it with someone else in the car because I'm streaming that material to someone else who, you know, didn't pay for it? Or if I purchase a movie and I have, you know, some friends over, can I not play that movie at my house because I'm streaming it for other people? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. If you purchase it, you should be able to do anything you want with it. Of course, you know, if I'm redistributing that music or those movies or that, you know, that game, I understand that that's wrong. And, you know, we're, we, we admit that we know that's wrong. But what we're saying is just playing it and just recording it and just broadcasting it to people, it's not, that should not be illegal. And even though they say that's not what the bill is after can't get too relaxed on this. You know, again, we're not trying to get people wound up and, you know, we're not trying to get people to, you know, go form a mob or anything, but we just want people to stay informed. So we need to, um, we need to get that across that we, uh, we don't think we need to let people know that streaming games is not piracy. If you legally own the game, you should be able to do what you want with it. And, um, you know, um, Fizz, we were talking about earlier, and I know you alluded to this, how a lot of the time, most of the, a lot of advertising for games can be accomplished through YouTube. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, like I was saying, you know, at the beginning, 
of this broadcast, you know, um, that's pretty much what YouTube and everything is just expressing, you know, different types of, you know, you can express different type of types of music, uh, you know, movies, you know, anything from indie to major movies of gaming, you know, from a small developer to like a big developer, you know, that's what it's just all about, it's just advertising. Right, exactly. You know, it, it, it's about advertisement, and that's all that we're doing. We're not doing anything illegal. We don't have links on our page that say, hey, you can get this game here, click this, you know. We're not doing that. We're just saying, hey, we've enjoyed this game. We think that you might. We're going to, like, share it with you. Not that you can download it or anything, but if you like what we have to offer, you can go out and buy it. Right, exactly, exactly. So, so that that's where we stand. We want everyone to understand, again, We'll say it again explicitly. We're not out here trying to get people to form an angry mob. We're not out here trying to rally people up. But we're also not the guys sitting there cracking jokes, being like, this is no big deal. Even though everyone has, even one, even though most everyone knows about this bill now, and even though some of the hype has kind of died down a bit, we still want people to, in a calm, you know, rational way, stay educated, stay informed, don't get too relaxed, don't just be like, oh, it violates, you know, it violates the Constitution, it can't pass, or, you know, there's not been much talk about it, I don't think it's going to pass. You know, it's still pending its intro to the, you know, it's still pending its introduction before Congress. So what we need to do is just keep doing our research, stay informed, make sure that um, they had said that they didn't intend for this bill to um, influence streaming and gaming. Well, we need to, to talk about this and keep it well known enough until you know they amend the bill, till they amend the text in this bill to say explicitly what it affects and what it doesn't. To say that yeah. streaming of material online means redistributing copyrighted material online for illegal downloading. That's what this bill should say. We need to make sure they amend it, right. they make it explicit that they're not targeting us. So therefore, if this bill does pass, we get an amended version of a bill which is not going to prohibit us from playing our games and posting them online. And, you know, again, on, like, I'll say it again, you know, just s please stay informed and stay involved. So uh, anything you want to add, Fizz, before we uh, wrap this up? Um, that is, I think we have pretty much just drilled it in enough. You know, you cannot uh, just be like, oh, well, they come out with a new bill. Uh, let's just read over this. Uh, okay, that's cool. Go handle it. You know, just don't turn a blind eye to it. Stay, like Axis said multiple times, just stay informed. Right. And uh, just be aware. Right. And uh, if anything else just comes out about this, uh, me and me and Axe will definitely do another podcast about it and uh, let you guys know. And, of course, we want your guys' uh, opinions and uh, right. if you have any questions as well, just, you know. Definitely. Post definitely. it. If you will message us. Definitely. If you have an opinion about this, we know some people don't, but if you do have an opinion about this and you want it to be heard, comment, do anything like that, you know, just uh, just let your voice be heard. And again, we're not on here trying to rally an army. We're not on here being relaxed and joking about it. We're saying let's stay calm, but let's stay involved, do some research, and let's, you know, make sure this bill is uh, is written out explicitly so that it will not affect online gaming. We don't want to think, well, it probably won't affect online gaming or it probably won't pass. Let's stay educated and stay involved. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this section of the chopping block up. Thank you for um, for listening to this. And uh, we'll try to keep you guys yes, updated. thank you very much. Yeah, we'll try to keep you guys updated with any uh, any uh, future any future news about this bill or anything like that. So we'll try to keep you updated. And please comment, tell us your opinions. And uh, we'll also try to answer any questions that you guys have. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. All right, guys. See you later.